mind, never mind, never mind. The power station. The Obi and Little Sean Morning Show. What it is with Esty. What it is. Power 95.3. Yeah, get your what it is from Esty right now. And if you ever miss it, you can go to her blog at power953.com under the Obi and Little Sean Show. Well, Jada Pinkett Smith, of course, married to Will Smith. She is fighting for women's rights. For the white women's rights. Well, okay, so Jada Pinkett Smith, she used her Facebook page to really try to bridge the gap between black and white women. Okay, one of the lines, and I'll go ahead and explain it, but she says, if black women expect white women to include us in the spaces that they control, like mainstream magazine covers, at what point must we do the same for them? Now, what she is referencing is the Essence magazine, which is predominantly geared towards the African-American audience, She's saying that they should be allowed to have white women on the cover. If Vogue, who is predominantly white, it's a white, a mainstream magazine. She's saying all these magazines that are mainstream and that at one point were geared towards the white women now allow black women on the covers, that Essence magazine should do the same. That's what Jada Pinkett Smith is saying. Another line is, if we ask our white she sisters... bigger cause. Yeah, she says, if we ask our white sisters, who tend to be the guardians of these mainstream magazines, to consider us colored women for the covers, then we should consider the same of the white women for our magazine. So she words it differently a few different times. You're She's really trying to essence. drive that point. You're talking about, like, you know, <laughs> maybe Afro-teak magazine. And, you know, you're going to put Madonna in the front of that. You know what I'm saying? It's, yeah. I, I understand, you know, but Vogue is not known as like you know white women magazine. I just find it to Vogue be a very, just... uh, I find it to be a very interesting stance on her behalf. Like it's almost like she had a white woman friend that was like, "How come I can never make that cover?" Well, there's another line too. My last line here with Jada Pinkett Smith's uh, Facebook post. She says, "To my woman of color, I am clear that we must have a magazine of our own. But is it possible to share in the spirit in which we ask our white sisters to share with us?" So she's just really Bam. trying to fight and express the, de- the necessity for equality between black and white women. Same. What's next? Like I said earlier, Dennis the Menace on BET. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what it is with Beyonce. When it comes to Beyonce, it seems like she can do no wrong. But after the weak response to her two new singles, like the song Nuclear, that she did with her former members of Destiny's Child, and her controversial song, Bow Down, where she decides to repeat the B word throughout the entire song, yeah. a lot of people are saying that's kind of Nicki Minaj-esque, not very Beyonce style. So both of these singles have really just flopped, I guess. And it looks like her record company is saying, look, we just we have to push back this album. Beyonce just isn't as hot right now. Of course, she did the Super Bowl thing. She had a lot of controversy there. She releases singles. No one's liking it. You know well, what I mean? And like, what's crazy is that Nuclear, Nuclear, that single with uh, the rest of the girls from Destiny's Child was supposed to be the big banger that everyone was going to be like, oh, my God, they're back. Yeah, I mean, yeah, and, and no one, care. no let's one take thought. Let's to the Power Streets right now. Yeah, what we could do that. Power Streets. What, have you heard Beyonce's uh, "A Bow Down"? I, I haven't heard it, so I'm gonna hear. All right, it. check it out real quick. Once. Wow. That's a whole nother Beyonce. Yeah. 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 But she's saying she's saying, you know, the, the way they the way they, they play it off is like, oh, it's not me, it's my alter ego, Sasha Fierce. No, that's her coming out, the true Beyonce. Uh-huh. Well, Beyonce, if you're not hot right now, it is what it is. Better step your game up. Well, no one yeah. thought that, that both of these <laughs> records would fall flat in the first place. Like they were supposed to be, like you said, two of the biggest songs off the album and no one's liking it. So we'll see Back when her album board. actually comes out. But on the other side of things, is brilliant because what are we doing right now? Talking about her albums. The Could Beyonce be a marketing lovers ploy. are going to be like, no, Absolutely. I love Beyonce. I'm going to buy the album. Right. And that's what it is. We'll see you every 50 after with the OB and Little Sean Show. Beyonce, not myself. What it is.